Okay, welcome to online kundalini meditation, music, mantra, gong, and song. Please just close your eyes and listen. And if you know Breath of Fire, begin a light Breath of Fire. If you don't know it, just listen. Sing with her or hum along. Protect me, open my heart, and I'll be free. I'll be free. Protect me, open my heart. oneness of all. We are so grateful for this class today and for everyone's participation, for Janet joining us for the first time, for everyone who's here. May I always see each student as the treasure that they are. May I lead this class in a way that allows everyone to experience their own kundalini energy in their own divinity in their own unique way. May we grow together today with expanded awareness and may we be kind to ourselves today so that we may also be kind to others today and always. Satnam, truth is who we are. Okay, let's tune in together. If you would, please rub your palms together and then Place your palms with your, thern your, st your thumbs in your sternum. Press together in prayer pose and close your eyes. And sit with a straight spine. And relax your face and relax your shoulders and feel grounded to the earth. If you're sitting on the floor or on a yoga mat, just feel grounded with your sit bone. If you're, feeling in a ch if you're sitting in a chair, have your feet flat on the ground so you're connected to Mother Earth. And we're going to chant our opening chant three times. It's behind me. It's Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Those five words. It's two sentences. Ong means the creator, the creative energy of the universe, the infinite, the oneness of all. Namo means name. Well, actually, it's a <laughs> nam means name. Namo means I bow or I acknowledge and honor. So I acknowledge and honor the creator, the creative energy of the universe. Guru, Dave, Namo is the second sentence. We, we chant all five words together. But Guru means teacher. Dave means unseen. 
And Namo means I bow down to or I acknowledge and honor. I acknowledge and honor the unseen wisdom of the universe. So we'll chant those five words together three times, once on each breath. So inhale slowly and deeply, please. And exhale slowly and focus your attention at your third eye point, your brow point, just between your eyebrows. Inside your skull, your pituitary gland is there. Inhale, slowly, deeply. Third eye point is your master control center. Exhale, completely, and inhale to begin. your hands, just breathe normally, calmly, stay inside and feel your connection with the infinite. We have a finite self and an infinite self, and this is our opportunity for our finite self to emerge with the infinite, to feel the oneness of all, the connection between us all, between everyone, between all life. And take a few moments, if you will, to set your intention for this class. What would you like to get out of the class today? What would you like to be able to take with you into the week ahead? And we'll do some warm-ups, some really simple warm-ups. Let's begin with some soupy grinds. And what that is, is just with a straight spine, just rotating it from the hip with a straight spine in a circle in one direction or the other. It doesn't really matter where you start on this. Just keep your spine straight and you're bending at the hip joint, just the upper torso is moving. And go ahead and go in the other direction. And inhale to center. And let's do some spine flexes. You inhale up and forward, chest up and forward, and exhale with a rounded back. It's almost like a cat cow, except you're not flipping your head. Inhaling forward, sut. Exhaling, nam, as you round your back. Go at your own pace. Just we're flexing our spine to create some cerebral spinal fluid to get ready for our meditation. The activity of your spine and of your neck and your shoulders and your head, all those create cerebral spinal fluid and we do that all through the day. Actually, we get a fresh supply of cerebral spinal fluid four times a day. But when we're meditating, we, we're doing yoga, we want to get this going just to have a more enhanced experience. So inhaling forward and up and exhaling as you round your back. And go ahead and inhale forward and inhale and stop. And exhale, relax. Turn down that singer a little bit. As nice as he is. Okay, and so let's do some uh, torso twists now. Just take your hands, put your fingers in front of your shoulders, your thumb to the back. 
and you have your eyes closed, but you can watch this if you've never done this before. <laughs> Go ahead and inhale to the left, and exhale to the right. Inhale left, exhale right. You can use your mantra as you inhale Sat, exhale Nam. Truth is who I am. Truth is my identity. Sat, Nam. Sat, Nam. They're warm-ups, but we can do them meditatively. This whole class can be a meditation. Okay, so inhale to the center. And relax your breath, relax your hands. And let's go ahead and do an aura charge. So those of you who know what Breath of Fire is, just raise your hands up. Go ahead and have your fingertips at the top of your palms, not a fist, but like that. Thumbs up in the air, plugged into the sky in a V shape. Eyes closed, focus on the third eye point, light breath of fire. And if you're new, a breath of fire, basically you can just put your hands on your stomach and inhale, and you notice your stomach comes out. And when you exhale, you notice your stomach goes in. So breath of fire is just like panting like a dog, but only doing it through your nose and driving it from your navel point. So you actually pump your navel point in toward the back, toward your spine as you exhale. And then as you inhale, you just relax your belly and you're exhaling, you're driving that navel back towards the back of your spine and relaxing your belly. And when you're first starting out with breath of fire, you can do it slowly, like once a second, just And if you're more experienced, you can do it faster, maybe about three times a second or two times a second. Like that. Just a light breath of fire. Improve your circulation. So you've been doing it for a while, so go ahead and inhale and stretch your hands up overhead. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And now shake your, go ahead and have your breath relax, but shake your arms in the air now. Just shake, shake, shake. Warm up those arms and shoulders. Shake, 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 shake. Eyes closed, focus at your third eye point. And go ahead and relax your arms down. And just sit and go inside for a moment before we start our pranayama. So our pranayama is a breathing exercise. And what you're gonna do on this one is just sit comfortably with your spine straight and your eyes closed and just listen. This is pranayama breathing exercise number 13 of the 21 we've been doing. Last week we did the whistle breath on the inhale. And I was told that I whistled pretty loudly. So not gonna be a problem this week because it's whistle breath on the exhale and I don't whistle too well that way. So. It's easy to do, and don't worry, even if you can't whistle, it doesn't really matter. The, just use your breath as directed, whether or not you whistle. Just simply inhale through your nose, and then you're going to exhale through puckered lips, making a high-pitched whistle if you can. Don't worry if you can't. And then you're going to concentrate at your third eye, your brow point, while you do this. So go ahead and inhale through your nose again, and listen to the whistle as you exhale through puckered lips. Inhale through your nose, go at your own pace. We'll all be going at different speeds, and then through puckered lips. Inhale through your nose. Focus at your third eye point with your attention, spine straight. You can use your mantra, inhale sat silently and then whistle silently, whistle, but silently say Nam as you whistle. Just continue. This breathing exercise is said to change your circulation and to activate your thyroid and parathyroid glands, give them a little bit of attention. 
So keep going, you're doing great. I'm gonna do this for two more minutes. And this breath also increases your lung capacity. So just continue on your own. I'm gonna take a look at you, see how you're doing. Really good, you're doing great. More than halfway done. seconds to go. You're almost done. Okay, inhale please. Suspend your breath, that just means hold your breath. And exhale, keeping your eyes closed. And relax your breath now, and just go into some slow, deep breathing. Go inside and notice how you feel as a result of the whistle breath, whistling on the exhale. And I'll tell you about our meditation, the meditation for positivity. As you probably know, in the Kundalini Yoga tradition and meditation tradition, it's the neutral mind that we favor. So we don't get too carried away by positivity and not too carried away by negativity. But when times are challenging like they are now, it's possible that positivity is required just to get you back to neutral. And one of the best ways to deal with the negative mind, which is a lot like the inner critical voice that we have that we don't even know is, is there, it, it sounds like it's our voice, but it's really the inner critic just trying to keep you safe. That's the negative mind. And if you're, the hardest thing is to be aware of it when it's running in your mind. If you can catch it, that you're being negative, that you're not feeling good, you, what do you, check your thoughts. And the idea that I, I've taught in, when I've coached people individually over the past 20 years is to thank the inner critic for sharing and then dismiss it, send it away. And we thank it because whatever the inner critical voice is saying, the exact opposite is true. So if it says you're no good, it really means you are good. So today we have the meditation for positivity as just another tool we can use to bring us back to neutral or maybe even into the positive a bit. You're not limited. You are part of the infinite and perpetual totality of life. And that's important to remember. The only comments on this meditation in the training manuals are that this meditation makes you highly positive. Humanity is not limited. Humanity is part of God. There are not two separate realities. And that's basically all it says. Humanity is not limited. Humanity is part of God. There are not two separate realities. So this meditation in itself is simple. It's a simple chanting of Ek Onkar, 
Satnam Siri Wahe Guru. Okay, those are the words. Um, they are they're supposed to be chanted in a monotone with a certain particular emphasis on on particular syllables and so I've put it in the chat box you can see the chat box by at the bottom clicking on that chat icon and then looking over there and the stresses on the syllables is shown there as ekonkar 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 and then the second line it's also the last syllable satnam 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 and then when we go to Siri, it's the first syllable that's, that's uh, emphasized. Siri, Siri, Siri. And then the last line, it's also the first syllable. So, wa he guru, wa he guru, wa he guru. Literally, this chant means ek onkar. Ek means one, ong means creative energy or creator, kar is creation. The creator and creation are one. In the purposes of this meditation, you can simplify that and just say, I'm divine. So that's what I put down there as a translation of a simple meeting. I'm divine, I'm divine, I'm divine. When you say, chant the echo and kar. Satanam, tr truth is the name, truth is my identity. So I'm truth, I'm truth, I'm truth is what I've translated it simply for this purposes of this chant. And then city means greatest. And so I've just translated it for you here as I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. And then wahe guru, wahe means wow. And guru means what wisdom or what, what a teacher life is. And so I've translated that simply as wow, wow, wow. So the way this sounds, I made a recording of it one way, and I'll just play that for you first. Sounds like this. Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam. Siri, Siri. Siri, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. So that's the way it's said in, to be taught. And I took some liberties because I just felt like it was a bit boring. And also, if you don't really know the meaning of the words, it's hard to get into the idea of, you know, I'm divine, I'm truth, I'm great, wow. So I made another recording just for you for this class. And um, it's going to have uh, another, it's going to have the translation in there too. So I would like you to go ahead and chant or m meditate on the Gurmukhi words, Ekonkar and uh, Satnam and Siri and Wahi Guru. But um, you're going to have the other words in your ears too. So uh, it's not this whole thing about I'm great. It's not affirmed from the ego. It's from, affirmed from the truth, truth of who you are, the truth of who we are, your infinite self. And so it's not about boosting your ego, but it is about connecting with the divine and recognizing your divinity, which is bound to make you positive. So simply sit in an easy pose right now with your spine straight and your hands resting on your knees in Gyan Mudra. Gyan Mudra is index finger to thumb. Just relax those hands on your knees or on your thighs and have your eyes one-tenth open, nine-tenths closed. So you close down your eyes so that you just kind of see a hazy image out, out, out there through the one-tenth open eyes. And, but bring your focus to your third eye point, your brow point. And then just listen to this and join in when you're ready. You can hum it if you want. Uh, I wouldn't even care if you want to chant the English part that comes out, but I, it's intended to be the Gurmukhi. So I would recommend chanting on the Ek, ek Onkar, Ek Onkar. And, 
and find that that in this recording and chant on that. So here you go. Just listen in and join in when you're ready. Focus your brow point, eyes nine tenths closed, one tenth open, straight spine. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I am divine. Sat, nam, truth. Sat, nam, truth. Sat, nam, truth is who I am. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I am great. Wah, he could do. Wah, he could do. Wah, he could do. Wow. Just repeat. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I am divine. Sat nam truth. Sat nam truth. Sat nam truth is who I am. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I am great. Wah he guru. Wah he guru. Wah he guru. Wow, what wisdom. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I am divine. Sat nam truth. Sat nam truth. Sat nam truth is who I am. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I am great. Wah he guru. Just continue. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I'm divine. Gong ka, I am divine. Sat na, I'm true. Sat na, I'm true. Sat na, truth is who I am. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I am great. Wa he ke. Truth, sat, na, truth, sat, na, truth is who I am. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I am divine. Sat, na, I'm true. Sat, na, I'm true. Sat, na, truth is who I am. Siri, I'm great. Siri, I
truth is who I am. Sitting, I'm great. Sitting, I'm great. Sitting, I am great. Wow, 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 wow. What wisdom! Inhale deeply. And suspend your breath as long as comfortable. And relax your breath smoothly. And go inside, eyes stay closed, and enjoy the space you've created for yourself. And please come to complete, absolute stillness and silence for one minute. Stretch your hands up into the air as high as possible and spread your fingers wide and stretch your spine and take several deep breaths, stretching, stretching, stretching. And relax your arms and relax your breath. Well done, well done. It's time for your reward now, so Slowly move into a reclining position on the floor or on a yoga mat or on a couch or even sitting in a chair. And when you're resting comfortably on your back or in the chair, make sure your palms are facing up and you are beginning to relax, relax, relax. Every part of your body ready to release any stress or emotions that are no longer serving you. this sound vibration, may we receive the cosmic wisdom of the universe passed down through the ages. Adgare Name, Jagadgare Name, Satgare Name, Siddhi Guru Deve Name. We call upon the greatest teacher the unseen wisdom of the universe to awaken our own divine nature so that we may know our own divine truth as we allow ourselves to release that which no longer serves us. Om Namo Gurudev Namo As we create this new open space within us, May we each become a clear channel for this healing sound to flow through us, connecting us with our own highest good. Ekonkara Satanama Siriwa Heguru. May these beneficial sounds radiate through us and out of this space into the outside world, spreading healing, comfort, peace, love, and joy to our family, to our friends, to our local community, 
to all humanity, to Mother Earth, and to the miracle of life itself.
Oh, Mother God, flowing through our hearts, we give thanks for the bread of our lives, for the hands in the earth and the fruit of your womb. Oh, Mother God, blessed be. Oh, Mother God, blessed be. Oh, Mother God, flowing through our hearts, we give thanks for the bread of our lives, for the hands in the earth and the fruit of your womb. Oh, Mother God, blessed be. Oh, Mother God, blessed be. Oh, Mother God, thank you for this day, for the love that you wash over me. And this joy in my heart, I will share with the world. Oh, Mother God, blessed be. Oh, Mother God. Be. Oh, Mother God, thank you for this day, for the love that you wash over me. And this joy in my heart, I will share with the world. Oh, Mother God, Begin to bring yourself back to consciousness and wiggle your toes and your fingers. And please take your left hand and touch the top of your head and silently say, I bless myself three times. I bless myself. I bless myself. And now please place both palms over your eyes and slowly open your eyes into your own palms as you move them away from your face to acclimate yourself to the room. And when you're ready, begin rotating your wrists and your ankles. And then please stretch your arms long overhead so your body is all stretched out from fingertips to toe tips. One long stretch, 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 stretch. And when you're ready, come and do a cat stretch. Just stretch your upper torso in one direction and then your lower torso in the other direction. And then when you're ready, switch directions for each. Stretch your torso in one direction and the lower part of your body in the opposite direction, stretching like a cat, waking up. And then when you're ready, please rub your palms together. And if you're barefooted or wearing socks, you can rub the soles of your feet together as well. Create some energy, some heat between both sides of your body. And now go ahead and roll on your spine. Curl your knees to your chest if you're laying on the ground. And if you're sitting in a chair, just move your spine. But if you're on the ground, go ahead and roll your spine. Go ahead and roll on your spine. You can do side to side to massage the small of your back if you wish. You can roll lengthwise up and down the length of your spine to give your spine a total massage. And when you're ready, roll up into a seated position or just push yourself up into a seated position. And please just meditate for a minute. Whoops. Meditate for a minute or so.
Okay. Thank you for that. I pasted in the chat box the words to our song we're going to sing this week. We each week rotate through 12 different Kundalini songs. This one is behind me too. It's Ekonkar Satagur Prasad Satagur Prasad Ekonkar. And it's in the chat box there as well. And it means the Creator and creation are one. Ekonkar, one. Creator, creation. The creator and creation are one. Satagur Prasad. Prasad means gift. This is the gift of the true Sat. Guru, Guru, Sata Guru Prasad in this text means this is the gift of the true Guru, the insight that the Creator and creation are one. And then it's reversed, Sata Guru Prasad, the gift of the true Guru is that the creation and, and Creator are one. The Creator and creation are one, Ekonkar, Sata Guru Prasad, Sata Guru Prasad, Ekonkar. And we'll just sing that together. And you can just listen in and join in when you're ready. Just please go ahead and close your eyes and focus at your brow point. Sit in easy pose with a straight spine. And as I said, you can listen in and join in when you're ready. You can hum it if you prefer rather than singing. Vocalizing is best. You can vibrate the cosmos. You'll get the gist of it by listening a few times. And I might sing it along with you once in a while, too. Ekonkar sata gu prasad, sata gu prasad. Ekonkar, ekonkar sata gu prasad, sata gu prasad. Ekonkar. Ekonkar sata gu prasad, sata gu prasad. Ekonkar, ekonkar sata gu prasad, sata gu prasad. Ekonkar, ekonkar sata gu prasad, sata gu prasad. Ekonkar. Ekonkar Satagu Prasad Satagu Prasad Ekonkar Ekonkar Satagu Prasad Satagu Prasad Ekonkar Ekonkar Satagu Prasad Satagu Prasad Ekonkar Ekonkar Satagu Prasad Sata Gu Prasad Ekonkar Ekonkar Sata Gu 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 Prasad Sata Gu Prasad Ekonkar Sat the good, the sad, the good, the sad, and 
Wonderful. Keep your eyes closed, please, and relax your breath and feel your connection with all life, with the totality, the perpetual, perpetual totality of all. If you will, please recall your intention that you said at the beginning of this class and prepare to take that intention with you out today into the world and out through all the week ahead. Recall your intention. Maybe revise it. Edit it. Improve it. And let's bring our class to a close. Please rub your palms together, eyes closed. Again, put your hands in prayer pose, thumbs into the sternum. And we'll sing our sunshine song three times through. The first time, sing it for yourself. Second time, sing it for your community of supporters, your family, your friends, everyone in this class. And the third time through, sing it for Mother Earth and for everyone alive at this moment. Go ahead and inhale, please. We'll follow this with the satnam, the three long satnams. And exhale slowly. And inhale to begin the first time singing for yourself. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Inhale, sing it for your friends and family. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on inhale this time for mother earth and all humanity may the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on Guide your way on. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly, slowly, slowly exhale. And then inhale fully for three long sat noms, one on each breath. Inhale. So. Nam. Truth is who we are. Sat Nam Truth is who you are. Inhale. 
Sad Nam. Truth is the ultimate reality. And now please take a moment to silently say a prayer for anyone and everyone. The firefighters, the people suffering with COVID, family, friends, anyone you know who could use a prayer, the homeless, anyone depressed, suffering with a disease or a condition. You're a powerful pray, prayer, person of prayer. Take about 15 more seconds, please. And bring your prayer to a close. And receive my prayer for you. My prayer for you today is that you feel your own divinity, your own truth, your own greatness, while loving all life and feeling that, wow, your positivity, not from a place of ego, but from a place of truth, the truth of your essence. 250 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. 250 billion galaxies in the universe. And you, are here, here, now, for a divine purpose. May you love yourself. May you bless yourself. May your heart be warm. May your vision be clear. And may your mind be strong. Truth is who we are. Truth is who you are. Satnam. Amen. Thank you for being in class today.